Now, in this video, I'm going to share how much money I made selling my photos on stock sites last month. I'm going to go into the individual details of how much I made from each site, and then I'll go and I'm going to talk about which additional sites I plan to post to next month to try to increase my sales. Hi, my name is James Wheeler. I'm an amateur travel and landscape photographer, and over the past five years, I've been uploading my travel and landscape photos to a number of different stock sites. So in the past two months, as I've been uploading different types of videos to this channel, it's become really clear that you like videos that talk about how much I've made from the different stock sites. So what I've decided to do is to start doing a video each month with a monthly earnings report of how much I make from the different stock sites. My hope from this is, is that you'll get a better idea of what it takes to start making money on the stock sites, as well as getting an idea of which of the sites are hot right now and which ones you might want to avoid. Now, if you do like this type of video, make sure to click the like button and also go down and subscribe and hit the notifications so that next month when I do my earnings report, you'll get notified and you won't miss it. I think it is really important to keep up on which sites are hot because over the years, I've found that some stock sites are hot and they start, you know, revenue starts going down while other stock sites, the revenue will start going up. So by doing these videos, I'm hoping I'm going to be able to help you to see which sites you should be investing your time into uploading photos to. Now, without further ado, here are my stock sales from last month. So if you saw my last video, it'll probably be no surprise that Avanto Elements was my top site last month. And if you haven't seen that video, just stick around till the end. I'll put a link so you can go and watch that one afterwards. Now, my second biggest revenue is my own website, souvenirpixels.com. Now, I got one sale, which was a commercial license for a full size image, which probably means they're going to use that image for print. Now, I run my website on SmugMug, and SmugMug isn't the cheapest way to run your website, but I do find it's got the best e-commerce platform for photographers. And this one sale that I made this month will pay for my SmugMug subscription for pretty much a whole year, so I think it's worth it. Now, next is Shutterstock. Now, I had a really good month on Shutterstock. I used to make $100 plus a month every month a couple of years ago, but I've seen a pretty steady decline in Shutterstock over about the last year and a half. And this year to date, I've been lucky to make more than $50 a month. So I'm pretty happy with making more than $100 in a month. Now, the main reason for this though, was I had two pretty big photo sales. I had one single photo sale that was $32 and another one that was $10. So 40 of that $100 came from two photo sales, but I'm really hoping that that keeps up over the coming months. So I kind of see a bit more growth at a shutter stock, more like what it used to be. The rest of the sites were, were in line with what I typically make. So if you add them all up, I made about $630 from my photos last month. Now, I'm pretty happy with that because this is a hobby for me. So $630 in passive income for a month is pretty good. Now, if you're just starting out $630 from 12 different sites and passive income probably looks really good. But this type of video didn't exist when I first started uploading to sites. So I had to upload to a lot of different sites to find the 12 that I would actually make money from. Here's a list of 16 sites that I spent time uploading my photos to and didn't make a cent last month. Now, some of these sites like 500px and Fine Art America have made me money in the past, but a lot of these sites, I ended up uploading my photos and never really got much of a return from them. Now, if you've gotten better results from any of these sites, I'd love to hear about in the comments below. I've had a lot of people tell me that they do really well in Alamy, and I've started to upload my photos there more, but I'm still getting no luck. So I'm not sure why that is. Maybe buyers on Alamy don't like my my particular types of photos, but I'd love to hear if you have success on all of me, what you think I could be doing differently to make more sales on that site. Now, over the next month, I'm planning on trying a couple of different new sites. The first one is one called Canva. Now I heard about this site because they purchased Pixabay and Pexels, two other sites that I do upload my photos to. And so I went and signed up for a contributor account and I uploaded a number of photos. So we'll see if I get any sales from them next month. Now I used to be pretty active on a photography contest site called Viewbug a couple of years ago. So I've got over 200 Im images already uploaded there. I noticed that they recently allowed you to start selling your photos as stock from that site. So one of the other things I want to do this month is just go in and add all of those photos to the marketplace. Now, unfortunately, it looks like you need to go through each individual photo and add it to the marketplace. So it's going to be a couple hours of, you know, mindless pointing and clicking, but I think it'll be worth it to see whether I can make any additional revenue from Viewbug. The third site that I want to focus on is Avanto Elements. Now, I've only got 14 photos up there right now. So what I want to do over the next month is 
go and take some of my more recent photos and put them up on that site. Now I've got a full video on how Invanto Elements became my number one site for revenue and I'll put a link to that site over here. But before you go take a look at that, make sure you subscribe to the channel and turn on the notifications so you won't miss my next earnings report. Best of luck selling your photos online.